let me answer the questions that i have raised in the beginning of this topic a plus x whole square how to write down this expansion by using this binomial theorem wherever n is present you just write down 2 so a power 2 plus 2 into a power 2 minus 1 is 1 into x plus 2 into 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 into 2 2 by 2 that is equal to 1 so let me write down okay let me take one more step uh, a power 2 minus 2 is 0 so a power 0 is 1 x square plus here n minus 2 term you are having so 2 minus 2 it will be 0 again in the next expression you will be getting n into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 also that also becomes 0 that is why you do not get any other terms. So, it is a square plus 2ax plus it is equal to 1 that is x square this is the formula you know and let me go for a plus x whole cube wherever n is present you just write down 3 a cube plus 3 into a square x plus 3 into 3 minus 1 by 2 a power 1 into x square plus 3 into 3 minus 1 3 minus 2 by 6 a power 3 minus 3 is 0 so a power 0 is 1 x cube plus as I told you the next term you are getting the term n into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 so it will be 0 that is why no need to write a cube plus 3 a square x plus 3 minus 1 is 2 2 to cancel so 3 a x square plus 3 minus 1 is 1 3 minus 2 is 3 minus 1 is 2 2 into 3 6 6 6 1 6 by 6 is 1 so x cube in the same way you can go for a plus x whole power 4 and a plus x whole power 5 and so on and any power or 59 or uh, power 100 whatever that may be you can use this expansion so that you will be getting now one observation is if n is 2 I got 3 terms if n is equal to 3 I got 4 terms that means for n positive real number we are having n plus 1 terms in this expansion and for other values for for n negative or a fraction fraction may be positive or negative you will be getting infinite terms very 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 important why we are getting infinite terms whenever n is positive we are having one term that becomes zero and the next term that becomes zero if you take negative value or fraction value you don't get any term that becomes zero that's why you will be having infinite terms now let us go for some more expressions